The domestic yak Bos grunians, is a long-haired domesticated bovid found throughout the Himalayan region of the Indian subcontinent, the Tibetan Plateau and as far north as Mongolia and Russia. It is descended from the wild yak Bos mutus. Etymology The English word, yak, is alone originating from Tibetan, wily, g. yag. In Tibetan, it refers only to the male of the species, the female being called Tibetan, wily, bri, or g. nag Tibetan. In English, as in most other languages that have borrowed the word, yak, is usually used for both sexes, with bull or cow, referring to each sex separately. Taxonomy Yaks belong to the genus Bos and are therefore related to cattle, Bos primigenous species. Mitochondrial DNA analyses to determine the evolutionary history of yaks have been inconclusive. The yak may have diverged from cattle at any point between 1 and 5 million years ago, and there is some suggestion that it may be more closely related to bison than to the other members of its designated genus. Apparent close fossil relatives of the yak, such as Bos bicolensis, have been found in eastern Russia, suggesting a possible route by which yak like ancestors of the modern American bison could have entered the Americas. The species was originally designated as Bos grunians grunting ox", by Linnaeus in 1766, but this name is now generally only considered to refer to the domesticated form of the animal, with Bos mutus mute ox", being the preferred name for the wild species. Although some authors still consider the wild yak to be a subspecies, Bos grunians mutus, the ICZN made an official ruling in 2003 permitting the use of the name Bos mutus for wild yaks, and this is now the more common usage, except where the wild yak is considered as a subspecies of Bos grunians, there are no recognized subspecies of yak. Physical characteristics Yaks are heavily built animals with a bulky frame, sturdy legs, rounded cloven hooves, and extremely dense, long fur that hangs down lower than the belly. While wild yaks are generally dark, blackish to brown in coloration, domestic yaks can be quite variable in color, often having patches of rusty brown and cream. They have small ears and a wide forehead, with smooth horns that are generally dark in color. In males' bulls, the horns sweep out from the sides of the head, and then curve forward. They typically range from 48 to 99 cm 19 to 39 in, in length. The horns of females cows are smaller, only 27 to 64 cm 11 to 25 in, in length, and have a more upright shape. Both sexes have a short neck with a pronounced hump over the shoulders, although this is larger and more visible in males. Males weigh 350 to 580 kilograms, 770 to 1280 pounds. Females weigh 225 to 255 kilograms, 496 to 562 pounds. Wild yaks can be substantially heavier, bulls reaching weights of up to 1000 kilograms, 2200 pounds. Depending on the breed, domestic yak males are 111 to 138 centimeters, 44 to 54 in high at the withers, while females are 105 to 117 centimeters, 41 to 46 in high at the withers. Both sexes have long shaggy hair with a dense woolly undercoat over the chest, flanks, and thighs to insulate them from the cold. Especially in bulls, this may form a long skirt that can reach the ground. The tail is long and horse-like rather than tufted like the tails of cattle or bison. Domesticated yaks have a wide range of coat colors, with some individuals being white, gray, brown, roan or piebald. The udder in females and the scrotum in males are small and hairy, as protection against the cold. Females have four teeth. Yaks grunt and, unlike cattle, are not known to produce the characteristic bovine lowing, mooing sound, which inspired the scientific name of the domestic yak variant, Bos grunians, grunting bull. Nikolai Perzavalsky named the wild variant Bos mutus, silent bull, believing that it did not make a sound at all. Physiology Yak physiology is well adapted to high altitudes, having larger lungs and heart than cattle found at lower altitudes, as well as greater capacity for transporting oxygen through their blood due to the persistence of fetal hemoglobin throughout life. 
Conversely, yaks have trouble thriving at lower altitudes, and are prone to suffering from heat exhaustion above about 15 degrees Celsius 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Further adaptations to the cold include a thick layer of subcutaneous fat, and an almost complete lack of functional sweat glands. Compared with domestic cattle, the rumen of yaks is unusually large, relative to the omasum. This likely allows them to consume greater quantities of low quality food at a time, and to ferment it longer so as to extract more nutrients. Yak consume the equivalent of 1% of their body weight daily, while cattle require 3% to maintain condition. Odor Contrary to popular belief, yak and their manure have little to no detectable odor when maintained appropriately in pastures or paddocks with adequate access to forage and water. Yak's wool is naturally odor-resistant. Reproduction and life history Yaks mate in the summer, typically between July and September, depending on the local environment. For the remainder of the year, many bulls wander in small bachelor groups away from the large herds, but, as the rut approaches, they become aggressive and regularly fight among each other to establish dominance. In addition to nonviolent threat displays, bellowing, and scraping the ground with their horns, bull yaks also compete more directly, repeatedly charging at each other with heads lowered or sparring with their horns. Like bison, but unlike cattle, males wallow in dry soil during the rut, often while scent marking with urine or dung. Females enter estrus up to four times a year, and females are receptive only for a few hours in each cycle. Gestation lasts between 257 and 270 days, so that the young are born between May and June, and results in the birth of a single calf. The cow finds a secluded spot to give birth, but the calf is able to walk within about 10 minutes of birth, and the pair soon rejoin the herd. Females of both the wild and domestic forms typically give birth only once every other year, although more frequent births are possible if the food supply is good. Calves are weaned at one year and become independent shortly thereafter. Wild calves are initially brown in color, and only later develop the darker adult hair. Females generally give birth for the first time at three or four years of age, and reach their peak reproductive fitness at around six years. Yaks may live for more than 20 years in domestication or captivity, although it is likely that this may be somewhat shorter in the wild. Hybrid yak In Nepal, Tibet and Mongolia, domestic cattle are crossbred with yaks. This gives rise to the infertile male DZO, as well as fertile females known as DZOMO or Zham, which may be crossed again with cattle. The dwarf Lulu breed. The only Bos primogenius taurus type of cattle in Nepal has been tested for DNA markers and found to be a mixture of both taurine and zebu types of cattle b. p. taurus and bp. indicus with yak. According to the International Veterinary Information Service, the low productivity of second-generation cattle yak crosses makes them suitable only as meat animals. Crosses between yaks and domestic cattle Bos primogenius taurus have been recorded in Chinese literature for at least 2,000 years. Successful crosses have also been recorded between yak and American bison, gaur, and bantang, generally with similar results to those produced with domestic cattle. Relationship with humans Domesticated yaks have been kept for thousands of years, primarily for their milk, fiber and meat, and as beasts of burden. Their dried droppings are an important fuel, used all over Tibet, and are often the only fuel available on the high treeless Tibetan plateau. Yaks transport goods across mountain passes for local farmers and traders as well as for climbing and trekking expeditions. Only one thing makes it hard to use yaks for long journeys in barren regions. They will not eat grain, which could be carried on the journey. They will starve unless they can be brought to a place where there is grass. They also are used to draw plows. Yak's milk is often processed to a cheese called chirpi in Tibetan and Nepali languages, and bayaslag in Mongolia. Butter made of yak. S milk is an ingredient of the butter tea that Tibetans consume in large quantities, and is also used in lamps and made into butter sculptures used in religious festivities. Husbandry research 
The Indian government established a dedicated center for research into yak husbandry, the Icar National Research Center on Yak, in 1989. It is located at Durang, Arunachal Pradesh, and maintains a yak farm in the Nayakmadung area at an altitude of 2,750 meters above MSL. Yak sports In parts of Tibet and Karakoram, yak racing is a form of entertainment at traditional festivals and is considered an important part of their culture. More recently, sports involving domesticated yaks, such as yak skiing or yak polo, are being marketed as tourist attractions in Central Asian countries, including in Gilgit Baltistan, Pakistan. Gallery See also Yukalo References External links International Yak Association IAC. European Yak Association EYAK. Article on Yak Breeds in FAO Archives Yaks, the official animal of Tibet Yak Genome Database <laughs>